Good evening, you guys. My name is Trevor Rudy, and you can see my bedroom. This is me, and today we're going to talk about how to get started in YouTube. Let's do it. So YouTube can be scary at first because we're not sure what people think about us. We might get rejected or we might get accepted, and they're not really sure how to take that in. So, as you can see, that's a very tough thing to go through. Don't be camera shy and don't be scared to post your videos about what you think or your opinions in general because people accept you no matter what. YouTube is a great place to just be yourself in general. Yes, there will be a time that your videos are not getting that many views and it's really hard to keep going on YouTube, but if you keep going, you will get better and better and better. Once you get better, you'll basically start getting more views and stuff like that. So let's hop into my computer and I'll show you what I use for video editing software. We are now on my computer and I'll be showing you Sony Vegas 14. So Sony Vegas 14 is such an awesome program. It's pretty simplistic, you can kind of get used to it, and there's so many different tutorials online how to even use Sony Vegas in general. So I'm using Sony Vegas 14, which is the newest and best Sony Vegas that you can get, which is really cool. Um, Sony Vegas is a very expensive program, but it is definitely worth the cost. Um, you can get a lot of good features. It's a very good editing software overall. Yes, it took me a while to get used to it, but once I did, I fell in love with it and I couldn't stop putting it down. There's also Premiere Pro, which is a part of Adobe. I have the Adobe Suite, so I pay 20 bucks per month to get so many different programs, including like Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Illustrator. I use a lot of Photoshop, Illustrator for some of my stuff. I don't use Premiere Pro that much, but I'm happy to show you guys how to use it and giving you guys some tutorials because it is such a good program overall. The program is nice because it gives you so many good key factors that are like professional level, which is exactly what you need. To be honest, you really don't need that when you first start out with YouTube. When I first started out with YouTube, I was using Movie Maker. Movie Maker is the most basic component program that you can ever use, and for Macs, you can use iMovie, which I like iMovie better than Movie Maker because it gives you more options to do stuff and it's a little bit more simplistic, which is super nice to have. So when you start a YouTube, you don't need some crazy software. You can just do Movie Maker or iMovie and start from there and keep growing your channel till you have enough money to buy better software and learn it from there. The next one I do have to say is a big key factor is Photoshop. Photoshop is such a key factor to have because with Photoshop, you can make your thumbnails, you can make some type of graphics that you want. So like you can design your own thumbnails, so you don't have to pay people five to ten dollars per thumbnail or even two to three dollars just for a thumbnail for your YouTube you can do it yourself there's lots of tutorials on YouTube how to do that or if you don't want to pay for Photoshop you can use a program called GIMP GIMP is a free editing software I'll be happy to link GIMP down in the description for you guys GIMP is actually pretty cool I used it a lot in school because we really weren't that crazy into Photoshop and really didn't have the funds so GIMP is like a secondary to Photoshop I will see you guys Wednesday for my first Sony Vegas tutorial on how to get started and what are the key basics of Sony Vegas. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Peace.